everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a very simple and easy summer makeup routine. I like to just go simple just because I don't like to have my makeup melt off in the summer when it's like really hot, you know, it's California weather. This is just my personal everyday routine. It's nothing that I think is all that special, but um, it was requested so I thought I would feature it for you guys. So if you guys would like to see my go-to look for this summer, go ahead and stay tuned. To start off any look, I like to moisturize my face first just to prep it for everything that's going to be going on to it. I'm using the e.l.f. Hydration Moisturizer. After that, I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime to go ahead and really refresh the skin and moisturize it even more. Next, I'm using the Morphe 35O palette because it has a lot of neutral shades in it. I'm taking the first white shadow that's in the palette and I'm using that all over the lids. Then I'm using this orangey tan looking shade to put it in the crease and give the eye a little more dimension. I really like to keep the eye looks very simple in the summer, so I think this palette is great for that. And it has a lot of warm tones that look good for the summer. Next, I'm taking it back to my very first palette that I ever purchased. This is the Naked Basics palette, like the original one. I'm using the shade Foxy because it's a really nice, creamy, white eyeshadow. Now I'm going back with my 35O palette and using one of the shimmers on my fingers. This one has kind of a pink undertone to it, and I just really like it because it's super pigmented. And then I'm going back in, sorry you can't see it, but I'm using one of the tan shadows to like really blend out the top. And then I'm going in with another gold on top that's another shimmer, just to give it more of the golden look as opposed to just pink. Now before my foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I've really, really, really been enjoying this primer just because it really brings this natural glow to the face. Like even through your foundation, you can see the skin glowing and it looks so beautiful. I just started using this and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I forgot to mention earlier in the video, but most of these products, I've purchased them recently. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup because I don't like the feeling of all of my face makeup melting off of my face. So I decided to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB tinted moisturizer in the shade medium. I really like this because it's super light and it has sort of a dewy finish to it and also the most important thing that I think is it has an SPF of 20. I think that's super beneficial for your face just because like even if you want to go to the beach one day and you still want to put a little bit of something on your face and not just nothing, you'll still have that SPF on your skin to protect you. Also, please excuse all the weird faces that I'm making while putting this on. It's just since I got my wisdom teeth taken out last week, my jaw is still a little sore. I posted a vlog about my whole experience, so if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do so. I posted it last week. By the way, I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend this all out. I really do like this sponge. I think it's a really great and affordable dupe for the actual beauty blender because I'm not trying to spend $20 on one beauty blender when I can get two for the price of $10 at Target, you know? The BB cream isn't too full coverage, as you can see. Like, I tried covering up the pimple in the middle of my eyebrows, but it didn't really do that good of a job. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand to go ahead and cover that up and do the under eyes. I like to just blend that out with the beauty sponge as well, just to really brighten up the eyes and give you a really awake look. I do like this concealer so far. I think it is a pretty good coverage concealer, but that pimple in my head is really really obnoxious and just like to stand out even through all the full coverage stuff after that I'm using the Ben Nye translucent powder to just go ahead and set the face I'm not using it to bake or anything because that just takes up a lot of time and this also prevents you from getting too oily throughout the day then after that I'm using the physicians formula butter bronzer and I'm just using that to kind of bronze up the face and contour just a little bit I do think it's really nice to have a nice bronzy look for the summer so this one does the job I'm just carving out the cheekbones, putting it all over my forehead and the bottom of my jawline. Next I'm going in with the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Gleam. I'm sorry, I forgot to put this on before I put on the powder, but this one is okay. I'm just using a beauty blender to blend that out. I'm not using this as my actual highlighter, just as a base to really make that highlight pop in for later. It's kind of sad how dirty my NARS Orgasm Blush got. I literally just bought it a few weeks ago. But yeah, I really, really adore this blush. I think it's super, super pretty. Then for that summer glow, I'm using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. This is my absolute favorite, favorite highlighter of all time. I'm just applying it to the tops of my cheekbones and on top of the tip of my nose. Then I'm using my baby, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm using the shade Beam to really highlight the brow bone. Then to lock my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and I'm telling you guys, this is the best brow gel I've ever used in my entire life. It really, really tames your eyebrows so much. Then I'm using a Tarte Eyelash Curler just to go ahead and curl your lashes. You can use whatever eyelash curl you have though, and I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and oh my gosh guys, 
I love this mascara. I've been using it for the past couple weeks. And wow, it really, really has changed my eyelash game. Like, it gives my eyelashes so much volume because I have really baby lashes and they don't always tend to stay curled up. But this mascara, guys, has been helping my eyelashes so much. Next, I'm just using a L'Oreal lip gloss. I'm honestly not sure what shade this is in because the packaging is so used that it got, like, wiped off. Then I'm locking in the rest of my face using the MAC Prep and Prime. Okay, everyone, so that is the completed look. I tend to go to this routine on the daily in the summertime just because it's very light and easy and I can just do it like when I wake up past noon and then I want to go somewhere real quick. I just throw this on real fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe to stay updated whenever I post videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.